Okay, hi everybody. Um, I'm Stephanie. This week, I wanted to share with you a little foam rolling tutorial. Um, foam rolling is just really a really nice addition to your workout routine. If you're not foam rolling already, I highly recommend it, especially if you're feeling kind of tight or tense, or if you're just feeling like some of your muscles just, yeah, are just a little bit too tight for your comfort and you want to roll them out. It's also just like a relaxing, like nice massage, even though it can be painful in the moment, it feels really good after. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to take you through three or four different foam rolling exercises that I like to do. And uh, you can do these with, um, we have like, we, you, you can have like a soft foam roller, uh, low density fo foam roller. You can have like a medium uh, or like a higher density foam roller, or you can do like the really intense ones that have the like PVC pipe on the inside. <laughs> they have like a, yeah, some sort of like hard pipe on the inside and then the foam on the outside. Um, so yeah, it's really your choice. And it also depends too on, on how tight your muscles are. So now I've got cadence with me, so we will see how this goes. Um, but yeah, we're going to start with some foam rolling. So hopefully you have a foam roller at home. If not, they are not expensive. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll probably link to a few different options in the blog post. Okay, so uh, if you're starting out, let's say you're starting out with a softer version, a softer foam roller. Um, a good one that I start with often is the calves. Um, my calves are pretty tight usually. And this is also just an easy entry point to foam rolling. Um, so yeah, you're just gonna place your calf on top of the foam roller. And then um, you can either just put some weight on it and roll back and forth. Well, foam rolling is actually really easy once you just get into it and just you just have to feel around for, once you hit a painful spot, then you know that you've hit um, a tight area and you can stay there. So you can either put part of your weight on it or you can cross your ankles like so and you can put that whole all of your weight into the foam roller and then you just roll back and forth for a while yeah and and it should it should be a little painful and once you find a spot where the pain is a little bit more intense then you might want to just stay there for a little bit um, and you don't have to roll back and forth. You could also even just do a static hold. If you find a spot where you're just like, uh, um, <laughs> and, and, and work it out from there. Or you could just do really small rolls back and forth too. Okay. And then of course you want to do both sides. Um, so you did the same thing on the other side. Yeah. Okay. So that's the calves. Um, the next one, we've got, well, quads and hip flexor are, are a similar position. Um, I'm going to move into the medium intensity for this one. Um, for the quads, it might be a little awkward at first getting into it, but you're literally just finding a position where you can rest weight, your quadricep, that weight into the foam roller. So um you're just going to place the foam roller underneath you on your quad and then you're going to find a position where um where you feel it and i'm feeling it a lot a lot more than i thought yeah so yeah oftentimes i realize i forget to stretch out my quads or you know we all have those tight areas um, and you can stay here for a, 
30 seconds. You can stay here for a few minutes. Um, you know, don't stay for too, <laughs> too long. You don't want to stay here for like, I wouldn't do like 20 or 30 minutes or anything. Um, and this is something where like, just like if you've gotten a sports massage or something, you want to make sure that you stay hydrated because those toxins may be coming out of your muscles. Um, so yeah, stay hydrated afterwards. And it's a good thing to do. Foam rolling is a nice thing to do um, at the beginning of a workout, before a workout, um, especially if you're feeling sore before your workout um, or you're feeling just a little bit of tension or tightness. But it's also a way to um, prevent soreness from happening after a workout. So after maybe um, after class, after you've stretched a little bit or before. All right, so just making sure that you're even on both sides. And again, once you find a spot where it's hurting a little bit more, you could kind of stay there. You could do a hold, just kind of hang out here for a little bit. Um, and again, it should be painful, or it probably will be painful at first, but it's gonna feel good afterwards. You'll feel that release of tension afterwards, hopefully. Okay, um, the next one, I'm just gonna keep switching, but the next one is uh, hip flexor. So similar to the quad, and you're just gonna kinda have to feel around and some of these, like if you don't have tight hip flexors, for instance, you might not need to roll out your hip flexors. But if you do, you know, you're just going to find that sweet spot. Find where, you know, there's that tension or there's that little bit of pain. <laughs> and you can tell, hopefully, good pain from bad pain. Obviously, if it's bad pain, you don't want to, you want to come off of it. You don't want to put pressure on bad pain. Meaning, if it's an injury or something, obviously you're not putting pressure on it. Um, so for upper back, let's switch it up again. You're just gonna this one again. It's it's pretty self-explanatory. You're just gonna take the foam roller. You're gonna bring it underneath you, and then uh, relax your head and neck, and then just let let yourself roll. You might even feel a little bit of pop, um, a little bit of like popping. Um, if your back needs to pop, you may feel that. So last one, glutes. Um, again, you're just gonna feel it out. Just place that foam roller underneath your butt. And, and you might wanna, do, you, you just have to kinda um, move around and find the muscle to find the tightness. Uh, and maybe you don't have any in your glutes, but if you do, you'll know it when you feel it. And then you can just stay there. You can do small rolls. You can stay as long as you need to. Oh, there's also the IT band. So that one is the outside. Ooh, this one. That one, you're gonna kind of cross this one leg over and you're gonna roll out this way on your IT band to so the outside of your leg. Yeah, that one feels really nice too. Whew. Okay, so that was some foam rolling. Um, I encourage you to try it if you haven't, if it's not in your repertoire already, try it before a workout or maybe afterwards or anytime, maybe before you go to bed or um, during a lunch break or, you know. Um, whenever works for you. Let me know if this was helpful. Let me know if you tried it, what, what your thoughts are. As always, I love to hear from you and have a great week. All right. See you guys next week. Thanks. Bye.